Does your EMS organization utilize volunteers? If so, this is for you. When offering incentives, most organizations have focused on compliance with the Department of Labor's requirements. In order to have the worker not be considered an employee for Department of Labor purposes, the method and means of payment are important. Plus, the payments need to be nominal in order to have the person not be considered an employee for Department of Labor purposes. As a general rule of thumb, the Department of Labor has sanctioned volunteer incentives for public and nonprofit or tax exempt organizations as long as the volunteer is paid less than 20% of what an employee would make performing the same job. Most organizations simply assume that the rules for the IRS are going to be the same as the Department of Labor's rules. They are not. For federal tax purposes, a worker is an employee if the employer has the right to control and direct the individual who performs the services not only as to the result to be accomplished by the work, but also as to the details and means by which that result is accomplished. In other words, a worker is an employee for federal tax purposes if the employer has the right to tell the worker what shall be done and how it shall be done. The right to control is the important thing even if that right is not exercised. The big problem with volunteer incentives right now is avoiding having the volunteer be considered an employee for federal tax purposes once the person receives any cash or even non-cash incentives such as gift cards or company gear as once the person receives anything of value for performing services for an EMS organization, the organization runs the risk of having that person be considered an employee for federal tax purposes if it would have the right to direct and control the person as to the manner and means of the person's job performance. In EMS organizations, the organization by its very nature must control the manner and the means of its services. EMS organizations control ambulance staffing and the provision of care to patients. Thus, all EMS organizations exert some degree of control as to the manner and means of the services of their volunteers. This means that any reward to the volunteer will render that volunteer an employee for federal tax purposes. Thanks for watching.